Hey guys, Darth Glork here, back with part 9 of our Moemon Mega Fire Red playthrough. So, last time, we got a lot done. Uh, we cleared out Selfco 100%, which was awesome. Uh, we also defeated the Fighting Dojo. We also got the 6th badge, and Reyna evolved into a Slowbro. And that's where we are. So, this time, of course, our, we're pretty much headed to Cinnabar, is our goal overall but uh i was i so obviously the only thing we're missing on our team right now is a vulpix uh now originally i was thinking that i feel like i remember seeing some at these uh pokemon mansion but i was actually reminded that we actually have already seen one uh in the wild uh east of vermilion city there was a vulpix we encountered one lots of episodes ago but at the time we're unable to catch it so this time we are going to run through yonder grass, and we are going to see if we can find us a Vulpix. If we're really lucky, we'll be able to. And then that'll be our sweet fire type. So, uh, you know, maybe we'll get lucky. You never know. You never know. Oh, that'd be hysterical if I immediately got a Vulpix. But that's actually a Drowsy, which we also don't have. I feel like this Drowsy is a little overmatched. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Uh, I don't really feel like there's anything I can hit him with with like any of my team. Doduo is our best shot of not killing this thing immediately. I mean, we could, it's only level 11. We could just see if we just chuck an Ultra Ball at it, if it'll just give it to us. All right, hang on, let's just, uh, let's give this a save because if it doesn't work, I'd rather not waste an Ultra Ball. It's full health, but it's an Ultra Ball, come on. Hey, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I just caught it at full health, just like did nothing. It's like, I mean, hey, it makes sense. It makes sense. There you go. We have a drowsy now. We're not here for a drowsy, but we have it. All right. Give me a Vulpix. A uh, oh, maybe we need to do something special. Uh, Accio Vulpix. There. Maybe that'll work. You never know. I mean, probably not, but maybe. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep pacing here and we'll and I'll just show you if we get lucky. Okay, the battle of a lifetime. So this was a double battle. Uh, there was a, a Lillipup, I don't really know how to pronounce it with my stutter, it's hard to even say, but we caught one of those, uh, which was easy cheesy. I didn't even have to hurt it. If the level's low enough, I just chucked an Ultra Ball at it the same way we caught the Drowsy. And uh, so wait, this was a double battle. There was a Lillipup here. I knocked the sucker out. Now, we're, now we have the Vulpix one on one. I realize my mouse is on screen, and that's incredibly unprofessional. But uh, I am—I've been cheesing it so I don't waste ultra balls because I'm a shallow piece of crap. No, uh, because I don't want to waste them. I don't want to waste them. I don't know why I said that kind of Italian. That was weird. Just—I'm just stalling with the other one. All right, Vulpix, join the squad. Do it. Yes. Yes. It says Lillipup. Ignore that. It was definitely a Vulpix. Ignore that, it's kind of buggy that way. See, there you go, told you, it's a Vulpix. <laughs> oh man, yes, we're giving the name to our little Vulpix. Okay, so we have to get a name. Uh, let's see, Reyna is our... Okay, we have a Reyna, we have a Lexi and a Haley. Do we... Blair is our main. What else, what else other names do I use? Uh, oh, I know a, gr a perfect name for a Vulpix. It's like, we're gonna name a Ruby. It's like, come on, it's ruby, it's red, it's, yeah, I'm, I'm all about that. Beautiful. All right, well, we got it, kids. We got our, we got the final member of the squad. Oh, man, that's exciting. Oh, sorry, I can get my mouse off screen now. That is awesome. How exciting. All right. Well, hey, let's go pick up, uh, let's go pick up our awesome little, little Vulpix, and we can put back our Doduo. There'll be lots of walking from here on out, but <laughs> but that is the price we are willing to pay. All right, so, oops. Hey, Bills, PC. Okay, so, a uh, few things. We have lots of sorting to do. All right, so, uh, let's see. This is a bug type, I already know, th isn't it? Is it like bug poison? If so, I'll just put it in bug. Yep, bug poison, and I will put it in bug, okay. All right, bug is over here. 
It's nice having like just a box 13 that's empty, so I know everything in here needs to be sorted. All right, so we got a cacnea, which is grass. Grass. Okay, what else we got? We have a Lapras, which is ice water, but we'll put her in, we'll put her in water. I feel like even if we catch other ice Pokemon, we'll still have to put them in water. We're running out of boxes. All right, uh, we have a Hitmonlee, which of course is fighting, which we don't have a, we don't even have a slot for. So I guess this is gonna have to be fighting. I'm almost positive we don't have a fighting box. Grass, poison, rock ground, flying, electric. Oh, fighting, we do have a fighting. Okay, good. I'm glad I checked. Fighting. Okay. Beautiful. All right, what else we got? We have, of course, our little drowsy. Uh, drowsy is psychic. And now that one, I, I that one we might not have a slot for. Okay, so we have dragon, normal, bug, grass, poison, rock and ground, flying, electric, fighting, fire, dark, ghost, ghost, water, and that's it. Okay, so I guess we'll put name this one psychic. Oh crap! How the flip do you spell psychic? <laughs> uh, uh, isn't it like C H I C? Uh, maybe? Yes? No, nah, I don't know. That doesn't really look right. Something, 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 something's wrong with the last half of that. I know the P S Y. Pretty confident about that. But I feel like it's not just C I C, is it? Whoops. Uh, that doesn't look right either. Hang on. How does I know the game? I know the game. Uh, oh, C H C. Okay. So, so the game just, you know, um, what's the word? It makes it smaller. It's uh, abbreviates it with just C H C. So I guess we'll copy the game, considering I can't totally remember how to spell it, because I'm borderline illiterate, and we'll just call that good. And then we just need to give this. Give this some kind of... I don't know what would possibly fit this. There. Psychic! I don't, I don't know. Alright, what, what is this? Normal. Okay. Psychic! That cracks me up that that's the one I chose for Psychic. Alright. Okay. And now, the time is nine. Alright, Doduo. Thanks for all the flying. And whatnot. Flying. All right, Ruby, come join the squad. All right, so obviously, as you might imagine, uh, Ruby needs the EXP share worse than anyone else. I don't remember who has it though. So obviously she's holding her mega evolution. Leftovers for Lexi, leftovers for Reyna. EXP share for Haley, okay. I'll take that. All right, Ruby, give. EXP share. That's for you. All right. Now, Ruby, of course, will be holding the, onto the EXP share for a very long time. Uh, let's. Do we have anything to give you? Calcium, protein, max of five. Uh, we have Quick Claw, which may be able to strike first. Which, at least, it's something, right? That helps repel wild Pokemon. Uh, I mean, probably. We, we could give them, give her the Clarence tag. Because I she might go in front pretty soon because she is my lowest level of my high level Pokemon if that makes sense um, So she could go in there But Blair's gonna have lots of good stuff. So maybe we should just give I mean, I guess we could uh, 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 You know what no, I've, I've already changed my mind I've changed my mind. We're gonna give you the uh, Quick claw there now you have a chance to strike first. There you go. Okay, so now she's holding that. Blair's gonna go first because the water Pokemon are, is gonna be really fun for her to destroy. And now we can move out. It's gonna be—it's really funny having to uh, having to run everywhere now. All right, beautiful. Well, hey, that's awesome. We officially have completed the squad. Let's go forward. All right, so now we're gonna head to the back to the waterfront, and uh, we will. Uh, yeah, now we'll head back to the water, and we will move towards Cinnabar Island. Okay, we are back. So, actually, some interesting developments. So, uh, okay, so first things. Uh, as we were traveling, I accidentally found a trainer that somehow we missed. Uh, so, you know, 
to the east of Fuchsia when you're going from Lavender Town. Um, you know there was that kind of like maze of fences and there's all the bird trainers in there? Um, so in there, we accidentally missed a trainer because I accidentally walked in front of him as I was traveling. So he got destroyed as you might imagine. I had ha uh, Haley switch in front and she just one shot at everybody obviously. Uh, so you know, ice beam spam for the win. Anyway, so that went fine. On the way, Ruby learned uh, Confuse Ray She up and she leveled up to level 15. I believe that is two levels higher than she was. Yeah, so she leveled up to level 15 and uh, all that is awesome. So as far as her stats go, it doesn't, I wouldn't pay too much attention. They're gonna change when she evolves into Ninetales. And so whatever's here at the moment, she's obviously a special attacker and she's pretty, uh, pretty high special defense. But again, kind of, you can kind of ignore that. Uh, you can kind of ignore it just because she'll change when she hits Ninetales. So obviously that is no big deal. But yeah, so she learned Confuse Ray. Now you know. Anyway, but, but but that's it. Nothing exciting otherwise. And that's it. I have to exercise and warm up before going out for a swim. That's a good idea. According to what I've heard is uh, you're supposed to warm up if you swim a long way or you'll get a cramp. Also, you're not supposed to eat and then go right to swimming. Otherwise, you have a tendency to cramp, apparently. Apparently. Eat razor leaf, tentacool. No, no, no. So obviously it's neutral for Tentacool because of course Tentacool is water poison and grass is weak to poison. So obviously that means it's strong versus water, so obviously it's neutral. I figure most likely everyone knows this basic Pokemon stuff, but just in case, like, by some crazy insanity, ow, forgot, forgot she has an ice move. Anyway, so just in case by some crazy insanity, uh, there was someone watching that di didn't know anything about Pokemon or something. Uh, I like shooting the random tiny basic knowledge because some of you might know but some of you might not and if you didn't then it might be nice to know these little things so that's why I say like the stuff that for some of you you're like well duh but I figured that you know there might be a couple of you that are just getting into it or they don't know much about it or they haven't even heard of it or whatever so let's go ahead and top off before we uh Go ahead and top off before we continue on because it'll be a long swim so it's a long swim ahead so you might as well not start at a disadvantage all right you're next pal wait slow down you'll have a heart attack probably not man I'm, I'm, I'm pretty young pretty pretty healthy I mean look at me I run everywhere I'm very healthy and if I'm not running I'm riding a bike I can't even fly anymore on my on my Pokemon why? Because I have no Pokemon that can learn fly. <laughs> but that, but hey, that's the sacrifice we made, darn it. That's what we decided we were going to do. Because the only other option was to wait for, like, Moltres or something. And I've always wanted to carry a Ninetales. So, you know, we, we decided that we were going to give up our the convenience of flying to get the one we wanted. That's what we decided. So, well, I'm sticking by the decision. And uh, admittedly, it is far less convenient, but, you know. I'm chasing the dream, man. Chase the dream. Yeah, it'll be. A, it's a weird team, man. Never had a team like this before. I've only ever used a water ice combo to go in, so having one that was split is real. Feels really different for me. And uh, but but that's fun, right? I mean, switching up the team and doing different decisions as far as who you carry in. That's what that's what is part of what makes Pokemon so replayable is you know switching your team up and then seeing if you could do it with different combinations uh setting up a randomizer is another great a great way of shaking everything up you, you know what i mean stuff like that so it makes sense that you'd want to do it that way and it, it just feels weird because uh normally i always do things that are very similar but i but i like what we did honestly i look at the sea to forget all the bad things that happen oh well, well that's dark oh man this guy is like ptsd i'm sorry Wow, well, that was dark. Calm down, man. Calm down. Speaking of a uh, randomizer, something on my list is, uh, and I don't know if it'll be the, I don't think it'll be the very next thing we do, but once we finish this game, um, I have an idea what what we might do, and uh, the thing that I'm I'm leaning towards it is it'll be it'll be blind, so that in that way it'll be fun. Look at her, by the way. I'm paying attention now. Uh, but anyway, um, and so I, I think I know what we're going to do, um, and, uh, we will see, we will see, but, um, 
soon, and I don't know if it'll be right after that or what, but I'm thinking I want to do a Moemon Emerald randomizer. Because obviously, we, we've already done Moemon Emerald, uh, but you can set up that particular Moemon with a randomizer. So, at some point in the future, I want to do that game randomized. Because then it would be a game that I would know, uh, but it would also be random. So, there would, it would be really, it'd be really fun. It'd be really different for me. So, something I'm looking into checking out. Anyway, so, Imprison. Uh, prevents foes from using any move that is also known by the user. Well, it's not that good, but it's better than Roar, I guess. So, replace it, I suppose. I guess. Because it's better than Roar. Ah, traumatic. Oh, man. Sorry about your PTSD there, buddy. Hey. I tried diving for Pokemon, but it was a no-go. You know, what just occurred to me is if... Oh, is if we get kind of in trouble, like if our Pokemon get low, we're kind of we're gonna kind of have to just push through, mostly uh, because normally if my Pokemon get low, I just fly back and I, I heal up really quick and then we just move on and that's the end of it. But this time around, we're swimming and we have no, you know, fast way of getting back. So really, this time it's probably just gonna be more cost effective to just push through all the way. Interestingly enough. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and throw in Lexi, because the Shelter is Water Ice, so we'll be neutral, and odds are it won't even kill it. So, let's switch to, to some electricity, and then we'll see if that works out a little better. Uh, shout out to the Protect spam, by the way. Try it again, this time I got it off, so suck it. There we go. Nailed it. Gotta use a Sea King. We can switch back to Blair. Hiya! We actually have a Sea King. I caught one of those in the Safari Zone. Fun fact. Level 19 for Ruby. Yeah, she's gonna level up really quickly. Because obviously everyone else is in the 40s. So obviously she has a lot of catching up to do, but we're also getting mad experience for all this. So what's beyond the horizon? So yeah, so she's going to get a lot of XP for this. Which is great, Douglas. It feels like, so it's obviously so one-sided. He's like, go level 27 horsey. I'm like, all right, go level 44 Venusaur. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> Feels up, it definitely feels like overkill, to say the least. I don't know what that is, so, but we'll stay in. Odds are it's a water of some variety. It's so adorable. It has like one of those little, one of those adorable little moves that you use to, uh, one of those, one of those little pool toys that shoots water. You know what I'm talking about. It's like a straw and you kind of like stick it in the water and you suck up water and then you can shoot it out. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Tentacool. Let's actually switch to Lexi again. Uh, cause I feel like playing really conservatively, making sure we're getting all the optimum engagements is a good plan. Uh, because again, we can't just, you know, swim, we can't just fly back to safety. We're kinda locked in here. So the farther we go, the easier it's gonna be to just go forward and not go back. So, you know. I feel like getting all the optimum engagements, making sure no one is taking unnecessary damage is gonna be the wiser move. So that's the plan. Raise a leaf. So the gym at Cinnabar. The gym at Cinnabar is a fire gym, I believe. I believe the gym at Cinnabar is a fire gym. So Reina is going to be our. So Reina is going to be our uh, our hope coming up ahead, which is good because she's obviously up to the task. So, faint attack as the user draws up close to the foe uh, disarming, disarmingly, then hits without fail. Well, that's cool. Uh, go ahead and get rid of in prison. That's a dumb move. <laughs> For the most part. There's, I mean, it's pretty niche. I just, I, most of the time that wouldn't be helpful. You, you know what I mean? Because, like, I'm trying to think of when that would be helpful. So, if you threw her in against a 
fire type. Obviously, that, that's the thing. If you threw her in against a fire type, if you hit that move, so now that fire type can't hit any of its good fire moves if it, if it shares them. So obviously, that part is a good thing. Um, I mean, it kind of, but it also doesn't make that much of a difference because if they're hitting fire moves against you, it's already going to be not very effective. So they're, it's like they're wasting their move, basically. So, you know what I mean? And so I feel like you stopping them from doing that is kind of a dumb plan. So the only thing that I can think of when that would be really helpful would be if you uh, threw them out against a Pokemon and they you happen to share a move. Like if you both, if you went up against a, a dark type and they happen to have whatever, faint attack or something. See, now that would be helpful because then you stop that dark type from using some of its moves. And so I can, I can, but it's all so niche. It's all so specific. You know what I mean? And so because of how specific it is, I don't feel like it'd be that helpful. And I don't really feel like you'd want to take it over other options. So that's, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, so let's just go ahead and put out, I mean, I guess actually Lexi and Blair on top is fine. Haley is our lowest high-leveled Pokemon, if that makes sense. So, we could put Haley up top, but I don't... Is water... I think ice is only weak to fighting, I think. So, uh, let's do a quick little... Uh, let's do a quick little Google type search really quickly and jog my memory on water versus ice and how they work well together and w whether or not they do. Okay, so it appears that water attacking ice is neutral, but ice attacking water is not effective. Not, you know, not very effective, basically. Okay, I understand. So don't throw her up there. So I guess Lexi can stay up top then. Eh, eh. My big sis taught me how to swim and train Pokemon. Oh, maybe taught me how to swim and train Pokemon. There we go, it's not. It's not the same thing, Leah and Luke. Or, you know, Luce, Luke, whatever. You guys are screwed! Razor Leaf, she's gonna hit both and kill them both, just watch. There goes one! Yep, there goes one. And there goes the other one. Thanks for showing up, Lexi. Not your fault. Blair is just too strong. Oh man, so much good experience. 21 for Ruby. Oh wow, someone tougher than my big sis. A lot tougher. I just one-shotted him. I just one-shotted both of your Pokemon. With one of mine. Ahoy there! These waters are treacherous. Well, ahoy there, swimmer man. I feel like you guys are a long way from shore. You know, far enough away that if you get tired, you might be in trouble. Tentacool, that's an issue. Uh, let's hit something a little stronger. I believe we figured out that I can't one-shot these with Razor Leaf. But the, you know, the toughest issue is going to be running out of moves, if you believe it. I think it was a bird. But even if it's, an, oh, okay, it's not a bird, but it doesn't matter because of course we're electric. I thought it was a bird for a minute, but it is not. Beautiful, uh, star you. Blair is lower than Lexi, so that's the reason I'm pretty, for the most part, favoring Blair. Yeah, we're gonna run out of Razor Leaf, man. You know, and at this point, we really could go back because we're still close enough that it's not inconvenient. We could, but I don't... Well, we'll see how I feel and what our moves look like when we're a little bit, a little bit farther. We'll see. We will see. I'm still waiting for Blair. At some point, I feel like Blair is bound to get, like, a stronger grass physical move. Better than Razor Leaf. You know, like a Magical Leaf or something. And I, I don't, not positive that Magical Leaf is better, but it might be. All right, Lexi. Ah, Tentacool. Tentacruel, I mean. One of, my, one of the coolest sprites. Thunderfang for variety. 
That's such a cool sprite, dude. I love it. It's so cool. So cool. Oh, dangerous. Yes, it is. Swimming's great. Sunburns aren't. <laughs> so true. So true. Swimming is great. Sunburns are not. Alice. Crocona. Cro Crocona? I'm not totally sure how to pronounce it. And there it goes, just like that. She is almost level 45. And a Sea King, obviously we're in good shape. Obviously. And Giga Drain. Eat that, nerd. Oh man, what a crazy day it's already been. Hey, 45 for Blair. I had to wake up and I had to do some errands. And uh, there's something you should learn. Never leave the house on a Saturday. For the love of all that is holy. And it's just so not fun. Alright, restores the user's HP. The amount of HP re regained varies with the weather. Well, that's a cool move. We could replace Double Edge. I mean, we already have moves. You know what I mean? And I feel like either go all in. I mean, Double Edge is a really good move, though. It hits really hard. But come on, it's a really fancy move, synthesis, and I feel like going all in on the whole grass theme is a good idea. All right, we're going all in on the grass theme. Replace double edge. Plus, it hurts so bad with with the recoil that I feel I'm feeling pretty confident about that. We're committing to the we're committing to the full on grass theme. Flame burst, no doubt that'll be good. Flame burst. This is 70 100. It's a special move. The user attacks with the foe with a bursting flame. Nice. Uh, replace fire spin, because fire spin is trash. Ooh, forgot fire spin and learn fire. Flame burst. Definite improvement there. Shocker. Okay. Your turn. I say I'm here with my friends. I'm tired. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys are in right right where it bends into the L. You guys are kind of in the little corner of the L. So, you know, you're still closer to the city than you are to the islands or anything else, but it's it's you're you're a long way from shore, that's for sure. I'm I'm tired and all I had to do was I all I did was swim here on the back of uh, Reina. Uh ducklet. How adorable. Uh, Giga Drain for variety. And see, I was wondering if it was an ice Pokemon. Or either it was ice or it was water ice. But regardless, I want to hit it with something more powerful just to make sure we didn't take any extra damage. No, no. Wow, look at Starmie's sprite. That's cool. I'm not, I'm not, I don't think we've seen a Starmie yet. I like that. I'm exhausted. Well, you were tired before, and I'm sure the, you losing in that battle didn't help. All right, you're last, lady. Oh, I just love your ride. Can I have it if I win? Absolutely not. A, you're not going to win. But B, I would never let you have Reyna. I love her too much. I love your little polywag though, it's very adorable. Knock it out. <laughs> Can I have it if I win? Absolutely not. We're not racing for pinks here. I'm not giving you Reyna. I love her too much. I've already I'm emotionally attached. I'll I'll admit it. It's like me, you know, it's like me asking, what if I asked her? I bet you she wouldn't be happy about that. I'm like, hey, if I win, can I have your adorable little polywag or whatever? She'd probably be like, no. And what an aggressive thing to ask someone anyway. Like as an opening statement. Give me your health, boy. I don't need it, but we're running out of razor leaf. So Blair's probably gonna have to switch soon to someone else because we're running low on Razor Leaf. So that's why I keep switching to Lexi occasionally.
Goldeen. Uh, just spark. Take that. Uh, just stay in. Zap. And there it goes. Oh, I lost. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Okay, I think this is the bottom. Yeah. Hi. It's just like standing right in his face. The water is shallow here. There are many people swimming. Yeah, I've, I'm noticing that. It's like a freaking city out here. Barry. It's a shelter. It's so cute. But we can't take a chance. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. <laughs> oh. I mean, I feel like a pedal dance might have been a little aggressive, but. Take that. About to use a float soul? I don't know what that is, but stay in. He's gonna get a, a pedal dance to the face. Wow, that's a cool sprite. I like that. Yeah, that's a very cool sprite. A25 for Ruby. She is flying. Splash. Splish, splash. I was taking a bath. Is it this one? Nope, too high. This time for sure. Boo! <laughs> Why are you riding a Pokemon? Can't you swim? All right, first of all, don't you all sh try and shame me, pal. First of all, if you saw Raina, you'd probably be on board with riding her too. Second of all, why should I? I I'm, not, I'm not even wearing a swimsuit. Like what, am I, you want me to swim in, swim in jeans? And a backpack with a hat on? I don't think so. I don't think so. Don't you go all shaming me, punk. I don't care if you do have a Cedra. Very cool, though. Delicious. Thanks for the health. Hey, look, full health. Very nice. Another little horsey. We are almost out of Razor Leaf, the last few. La la. And we'll switch up for variety. Yeah, you know, I feel like starting a Pokemon battle with this dude and then you see that he starts whipping out level 40 Pokemon and his opening Pokemon is one that is not only more like, you know, super effective against yours, but also has like twice your levels. I feel like that'd be a little disheartening. You'd be like, well, this battle's already over. This dude has a whatever, level 40 Venusaur. This battle is already over. I feel like it'd be a little disheartening. Seafoam is a quiet getaway. I'm vacationing here. Well, that's exciting. Congratulations on your vacation. I hope you have a great time. Surely. Surely. Surely you must be joking. Take that little ducklet. I don't care how cute your name is. No mercy. And a horsey. Let's go ahead and switch up. Let's throw in. Well, Haley has lots of physical moves, so let's just let's just throw in Haley, cause. Water may be, or ice may not be great against water, but she has other, she has other moves, so. And it's only, I mean, come on, it's only a horsey. It's only a horsey, but it survived anyway, because I forgot how bad her physical attack was. Admittedly, that's my bad. 26 for Ruby. Trying to learn Will-O-Wisp. I believe that gives people a burn, I think. Uh, sinister, bluish white flame is shot at the foe to inflict a burn. Yes, it is. Go ahead and get rid of Confuse Ray. 
feel like getting a burn is better than a confusion. About to use a Cedra. Let's change. Lexi, you can have this one. Uh, da 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 da. Spark. Na na. And there it goes. Quit it. Hey, look, man. You're the one that challenged me to a fight. Don't be sore because you lost. No one likes a sore loser. Ah, oh, how about that? Something else. All right, we're, we're getting low on moves, so let's maybe put Noka in front temporarily. Strong trainers and water Pokemon are common sights in these parts. They say that Misty of the Cerulean Gym trains here. Of the Cerulean Gym trains here. I don't know why I couldn't say that. Oops. <laughs> I like barely get into the water, immediately attacked. A wind goal. I mean, uh, we've already tried this. We already tried this strat, and we happen to know that when they're this weak, you can chuck an ultra ball and just get one for free most of the time. Bam, just like that. Na 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 na. Uh, no. Okay. Hi. I love floating with the fishes here among the waves. That's great. Tiffany. Open it up with a Sea King. An extra powerful Sea King at 35. I have 10 levels on you. Sucks to be you, pal. And there it goes. Out. She's like, youch. All right. So I'm pretty sure this is the, isn't this the, yeah, Seafoam Islands. Yeah. Okay. That's all ice. We're not interested in that. And I forgot, I don't think you can actually get to that island from here. I think you have to go uh, to Pallet Town and then go down, I think. Yep. That is the truth of that. All right, then. We have a long swim ahead of us, so uh, I'll see you guys in Pallet Town. All righty. Back in Pallet Town. And uh, I just thought it'd be kind of be kind of cool to hop over here briefly. Tangela, this is the only place I know of in the map to find Tangela. By the way, uh, let's ice beam one of them, and we'll just switch out for the other one, I guess. Take that, nerd. Twenty-seven for Ruby. Poison powder, you missed. All right, your physical attack is really bad, so let's hit you, and we'll just switch away. Uh, for Reina, maybe. It has freaking Mega Drain? <laughs> Why is that, pray tell? Alright, just hit him again. Uh, uh, back to Blair. Poison Powder, missed again. Alright, hit him again. Noka in this time. Ow. Well, now it's in the yellow. It sucks, but I think we'll take the chance. Ultra Ball, go! And you will switch for Blair. Give in to the dark side, Tangela. Nice. We caught a Tangela. Yay. 
There's just so many. Everyone gets like the tiniest XP. Yay. Give a nickname. New. No. Nice. Okay. Before we actually head all the way, stop in by my mom's house. Mom. Mother dear. Gloric, you should take a quick rest. Oh, good. You and your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now. Bye, Mom. All right. Now we're all healed up, so Haley didn't take unnecessary pain. Now we can switch out... I guess we'll put... Let's see. Blair in, I guess? I suppose. All right. On our way. What? Oh, it's a Whalmer. I did... Don't even think I need one, to be honest. Don't even think I need it. Hey. I got a big haul. Wanna go for it? I mean, I would I, if you want if you're asking me to battle, then yes. Anything else, probably not. Magikarp? How insulting. How insulting. Take that, nerd. Magikarp. All right, he's gonna Magikarp spam. Then I guess we'll give it to Haley because even her physical attack will be enough. Uh, strength. Just knock this out quickly. Oh, look, something different. All right, I wasn't ready. Honestly, I thought it was gonna be nothing but Magikarp. Suddenly, suddenly Gyarados. Uh oh. Ow. Ow. Oh, I forgot I have leftovers. That's convenient. All right, admittedly, I underestimated you. I thought you would have nothing but Magikarp, and turns out you had a Gyarados, at least hidden in the middle. About to use a Magikarp. We'll stay in. This time, we're not taking chances. Plus, it'll give Lexi time to heal. Uh, just bite. We don't want to be want to be wasting my good electric moves on Magikarp. Yay for leftovers! A lantern! Aha! Another one hidden. A Pokemon that at least has something going for it. How adorable! And look at that, we're full health. Oh, it's it's a le it, oh, that's bizarre. Ow! I just healed, you little bugger! Leftovers are gonna get back to work there. That's alright, I have another move. Take that. Magikarp just don't make the grade, do they? No, they don't. No, they don't. All right, pal. You want to know if the fish are biting? Not really. I mean, I'm not here to fish. I'm just trying to get to Cinnabar, man. Ronald. Sea King. At least it's a real water Pokemon. It's also very, very pretty. I love Sea King's sprite. It's very good. Take that. Twenty-eight for Ruby. Man, all this experience has been so good for her. Trying to learn Hex. Oh, that sounds dark. What is that? It's a ghost move. Sixty-five, a hundred. This attack does double damage to a target affected by a status problem. Wow. Well, that's awesome. Uh, I feel like quick attack's not that good. Yeah, get, get rid of quick attack. Nice. All right. Man, she has some cool moves. All right, Goldeen, we'll stay in. Razor Leaf. Got him. 
almost level uh, 46 for our leading lady, which is good. Razor Leaf. No, 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 no. The Sea King. Well, at least this person had a real team for a change. At least the last guy was nothing but freaking Magikarp. And I mean, there was there was a Gyarados and a Lantern mixed in, but mostly Magikarp. Like four out of six Pokemon were Magikarp. Like why? <laughs> why you do this? Dang, at least this guy had a real team. All right. Let me in. Okay. Ah, I got interrupted. Uh, well, it's only level six, so just throw a great ball. Great ball, go! Surely a great ball would be enough at level six. What? Frickin' what? Frickin' what? I disagree. Okay, fine then. We'll throw a freaking Ultra Ball, you happy? If you throw out of this one, I'm just gonna knock you out. Good boy. Or girl, sorry. I don't even need it, I just got it on principle, I guess. Do you have a nickname? No, I don't need it. Okay. Oh, dang it, I was, I was gonna switch teams and put, uh, put Haley in, but that's alright. A battle? Uh, Ian, can't you do it alone? But yeah, I was gonna put Haley in because Blair is gonna one-shot both of them because Razor Leaf hits both people. So I was gonna put uh, I was gonna put Haley in so she could get some experience. But whatever, Lexi, it is. We'll just go Razor Leaf, and then you. It doesn't even matter. Just bite somebody. It's already over. Most likely, anyway. Yep, it's over. Hey, 46 for Lexi. Oh, I forgot. It did say evaded the attack. But it doesn't matter because I happened to use a bite and they happened to be psychic and they got and it killed them anyway. Well done, Lexi. You pulled your weight and you both hit 46. All right. Hey, 29 for Ruby. Everyone's leveling. Nice. Oh, see? We lost. Happy now? Man, she's not a very good older sister. Go away, I have one now. I think he goes here. Hello! The seat cleanses my body and soul. Dude, freaking same. I totally, wholeheartedly agree. Cedra. Razor Leaf. Take that, nerd. No, no. Tentacruel, let's switch for Lexi, I think. You know, if any of these battles would last more than one turn, uh, Lexi could heal. Oh, there we go, she healed anyway, never mind. Never mind then. Goodbye. He just like shrieked there. He's just like, ah! <laughs> hey, hey, don't scare you. Don't scare away the fish. Relax, bro. It's a free ocean. I'm just going through it. All right, relax, Claude. Shelter. It's so adorable. <laughs> Giga Drain. Take that. Uh, oh, a Cloyster! We'll finally get to see the sprite for Cloyster! Wow, that is awesome! I am a fan of that. That's very cool. Goodbye, Cloyster! Yeah, that, that's a cool sprite, though. I like that. 
Sorry, I'm just so frustrated from not catching anything. Oh, well, he even apologized. All right, well, I won't hold it against you then. I won't hold it against you. Keep away, or keep away. Keep me company until I get a hit. I mean, if you if you're asking for a battle, then sure. Otherwise, I'm I'm all set. Thanks, Nolan. I'm on the I'm on a mission here. I'm on a mission here, Nolan. Whoops! I actually did not mean to hit Petal Dance. I meant to hit Razor Leaf, but I forgot that I was. It starts top left, and it's whatever. It's fine. They only have two Pokemon, so I'll, I'll probably just stay in and just the second person will eat themselves a nasty Petal Dance, and it'll be fine. Goldeen, yep, we'll stay in. This Goldeen's about to get it. Eat this, nerd. Got him. Nice. All right. That burned some time. Well, you're welcome then. I'm happy to have crushed you. Happy to have crushed your dreams, man. That one's for you. You know, you can never totally tell until you're already on the island if there's anybody on. I caught my Pokemon at sea. Congratulations. Imagine it's hard to battle while swimming. There, Jack. Starmie. Ooh, level 37 Starmie. It's almost like they, almost like they care. I mean, obviously it makes no difference. It makes no difference. There you go, see? Boatload of experience for that. Diver down. Hey. Hey, thank you. Ah, feel the sun and the wind. <laughs> he wasn't like screaming and he's like, ah! He's probably just like, ah, feel the sun and the wind. Like he's it's, he's having a good time. Ah, Poliwhirl, one of the greatest sprites ever. Take this. I really want to see Poliwrath. I want to see what the Poliwrath sprite looks like. I want to see it. Uh, Tentacool, yeah. Let's go ahead and switch for Lexi. This one's all you, Lexi. And a spicy heal. There you go, we're full health. Take that. All right, uh, Cedra. Oh, we'll stay in. We'll stay in. We're already healed. There's nothing to heal. Got him. Ah, oh, poison point. <laughs> Dang it. All right, we'll have to see how far we are from shore and see if I need to use a berry or something. Dark Pulse. What is that? So it's a dark move. The Wow, it's 80-100. The user releases a horrible aura that may also make the foe flinch. Dang. Wow. I feel like that's better than Feign Attack, because Feign Attack doesn't miss, but this also has 100 accuracy and, the, and it's 80. So I feel like that's better. And how many dark moves do we need? Especially considering we already have a dark specialist, so her having like any dark move is just a bonus. Yeah, I lost. Yes, you did. All right, how far are we from... How far are we? Oh, we're almost there. Um, I, th I don't think we'll give her anything quite yet. We can make it, I think it'll be fine. Right now, I am in a triathlon, I'm in a triathlon meet. Well, you, so far you seem to be the only one. That's a triathlon of one, because I have yet to see anyone else mention that. Unless, of course, you're like the first one here or something. He's like, more are coming. I'm just the first one here. I like being early. I was like, well, I, at least I can understand that. I also like being early. All right. Oh, uh, War Turtle. Hey, cool. We haven't seen one of these. Wow, that's a cool sprite. I like that. Very cool. I wonder what Blastoise looks like.
Blair's approaching 47. He's all panting. I'm like, I think he might have a heart attack. Ah, yes, the uh, the shore, the shoreline. No, I'm not trying to get in there. I'm just trying to walk past the door. Heal me. I'm not in that much pain, but one of my Pokemon is poisoned, and it makes me feel bad. Thank you. Okay. Cinnabar Island. So the first order of business will be to drop off the fossil that we got in, like, part one. Hey, scientist guy. Hiya! I am an important doctor. <laughs> like, how oh, that's his intro. I'm very important. Yes, very much so indeed. Here, I, here I study rare Pokemon fossils. All the time I study. You, have you a fossil for me? I do. Here's a dome fossil. It is a fossil of Ka of Kabuto, a Pokemon that is already extinct. My resurrection machine will make that Pokemon live again. So, you hurry and give me that. I take a little time. You go for a walk a little while. All right. Looking for the Pokemon Ponyta. You want to trade for Seal? Why would I trade for Seal when I could catch one right down the road? That's a really bad trade. Hi. I'll teach you a nifty move. Uh, metronome. No thanks. Eevee can evolve into one of three kinds. <laughs> Only in Gen 1. In Gen 1, it's one of three, and later on, it's like one of 48 or whatever. Hello there. Do you happen to have a Raichu? You want to trade for Electrode? No. Also a bad trade. I found this most remarkable fossil inside Mount Moon. I think it's of a rare prehistoric Pokemon. Congratulations. Hi, do you have a Venonat? You want to trade for a Tangela? I have both of those. Okay, I think that's mostly everyone. We study Pokemon extensively every day. People often bring us rare Pokemon for examination. All right. There's that. Something else on the list. Hey, uh, I need to buy some Ultra Balls. Just give me like five of them. Perfect, thank you. Uh, Hyper Potion. Just give me three of those. We don't need to go crazy yet. Okay, just give me one of those. All the status problems. And this is what, like, how much a piece? Oh, 600 a piece. Okay, that's not bad. Give me four of those then. Okay. Uh, I actually wonder if I should get some repels while I'm here. Perfect. Thanks, man. Okay. So, we could make some room in the bag, because we have some things to use. Alright, first we got is we have two iron. Raises the base defense stat. So, defense will just be physical then. So, if it's physical, then Reyna. I feel like she's going to be a, one of our walls. Okay. Protein is the base attack stat, so that's physical. So, let's give that to Noka. All right, HP up. Of course, that helps pretty much anyone, but especially people with high HP. So, Rain has high HP. Blair has high HP. I mean, that's that's good for anybody, but I feel like especially Pokemon... I mean, really, we could give that to someone else. We could give it to, like, Noka, because she, she doesn't have amazing HP, so... All right, uh, Calcium is the special attack stat, so that would be good for Blair. Yeah, let's give that to Blair, because Blair is mostly special attack favored. And then this is speed. And I don't know who we have that's very fast. Uh, let's actually backtrack and check our Pokemon for a minute. Which one of you guys has good speed? Okay, so you have 99. So Blair is faster than Lexi. Uh, Rain is not fast at all. Noka has 94. So, so far, Blair is fastest, faster than any one of these guys. Now, Ruby is a little hard to tell because she's only she's only level 31, but she has 49 speed. After she evolves, she might be very fast. I don't know. Interesting. Okay, so we have a speed. So far, Blair is fastest. Okay, one of any effect. All right, let's try someone else then. Let's go Reyna because she's not fast. Okay, nope. Then let's try... Nope, I was trying to scroll up. Lexi. There we go. I was like, just give it to anyone. All right, uh, Zinc is special defense. Again, I feel like that would benefit Blair because she's our special specialist. 
Beautiful. There we go. We finally got rid of a whole bunch of stuff in our inventory. We need to sell this X item. Uh, X special. Perfect. Thanks, man. All right, there we go. Cleaned out the inventory a little bit. Now, what's next is to head in here, the Pokemon Mansion. Because the gym isn't open until we go through this. Okay, so now we don't no longer have to have Blair in front. I feel like maybe going Haley because she's our, our lowest level of all of our top Pokemon. So I feel like throwing her in is a good start. Other things, I feel like nailing a Max Repel right away is a good pretty good plan because this thing is full of wild Pokemon and we don't really need Pokemon at this point. We, we Our team is built and we got the items we want so there's not really that much reason anymore. I mean I, I kind of casually pick them up but it's very casual. Okay so I have a couple of closed doors. So let's go over here and hit the switch. Okay. Go check on the kit. Hey. Wow, you startled me. I thought you were a ghost. No, I'm not a ghost. Don't be such a sissy. You little kid. How about you get out of here, Johnson? <laughs> Johnson? That sounds like a last name. Why is that his first name? Uh, suck an ice beam, Poochiena. Got him. About to use eradicate. Uh, we could. Eh, let's just stay in. Ice beam. Take that. And the Ekans. Uh, I think we'll stay in. How rude. And Ice Beam! <laughs> Poor Haley, man. She only has like the one good move. It's rough. Because all of her. Because the other moves aren't bad moves. It's just she has no physical ability. I mean, she has no physical attack. So, like, obviously, it's not very conducive to her playstyle. I can't get any wins. I recommend you get out of here. Anyway. Okay, so. Yeah, we hit the switch. Now, all these doors over here should be open, I think. Oh, no, actually, I get it. It's the this door over here. This is open. Okay, protein. Let's just use that right away while we're thinking of it. This is the base attack stat. Uh, Lexi's very physical. You can have that. Okay. Oh, wow, one, one got through anyway. Whoa, it's a Porygon. Level 42 Porygon. No wonder it got through. All right, well, in that case, let's hit it with something. All right, so that was a crit, so I feel like hitting it again is not a bad idea. Curse, huh? Dropped all of its stats. You gotta wonder why. That doesn't do jack. I don't know what that is. Hit it again. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. Uh, this might be low enough. We will see. All right, so we did get out, but we're gonna cheese it. Cheese for the win. Hey, got it that time. All right, we got a Porygon. No, I think we're all set. That was crazy. There was a level 42 Porygon. Just hanging out down there. Yes, use another one. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna run over here. Now these doors should be open? Well, no, they were closed to begin with. Okay. Well, then now we can just go upstairs then. Alright, uh, let's see. 
Hi. I can't get out. This old place is one big puzzle. It's not that big a deal. Go down the stairs and leave. <laughs> it's not that big, pal. Arnie. Mighty Anna. Ah, the good, the memories. Intimidate. Eat ice beam, punk. Take that. 43 for Haley. Nice. About to use a combustion. Uh, Reyna, we need you. And here she is, just happy to be here. Ah, even more memories. All right, uh, surf. Take that. 32 for Ruby. Nice. Oh no, my bag of loot. I got a whole bunch of money for that. All right. Huh. Diary, July 5th. Uh, Guyana, South America. A new Pokemon was discovered deep in the jungle. Ah, I forgot about that. So the if the, the story behind this mansion, at least according to what I understand, is this is the lab where Mewtwo was made, and uh, this is how it blew up. That's the reason this is all destroyed. Is because Mewtwo obviously nuked it. The raises the special attack. Special attack. Again, Blair is our special attacker. Although I think Reyna leaned towards no Reyna leaned towards physical. Uh, let's just give it to Blair. I know Blair is special, so. We'll go with her on that one. Um, so I'm willing to bet at least one of these switches. Okay, so there, there's a third floor right there. All right, well, one thing at a time here. Let's go ahead and go down and hit this switch after we grab this. Uh, zinc. And what does that one do, pray tell? Special defense, once again. Special is all Blair. Okay, and okay, now we can go over and hit this. Okay, so now I'm thinking the main thing. Ah, there we go. All it did was open this, but you feel like there must be a reason why they would, uh, why they would open this up. We're checking everything. I mean, it could just open this in addition to something else. Okay. So, my first guess is something down here. Yep. Alright, uh, July 10th, we christened the newly discovered Pokemon Mew. Yep. So, obviously, Mew, Mew 2 was created from Mew, obviously. Oh, blast it. Okay. Actually, going up might be a good idea. Hang on. This place is, like, huge. I mean, it's pretty big. It's three floors. It's it's pretty big. Simon. Ooh, a Ninetales. Ah, he... How dare you taunt me with what I want. I, I don't remember if ice is good against fire. Nope, it is bad against fire. Now you know. Oh, I forgot. Right. My brain is catching up with me. What was I thinking? Okay, Reyna. Yeah, you better all put you better tank up, pal. Doesn't do jack. And there we go. All right, and a um, whole bunch more money. Okay, well now Haley's pretty banged up, so let's go ahead and switch her out for someone. Maybe switching her out for Reyna wouldn't be a bad idea. Diary, February 6th, Mew gave birth. We named the newborn Mewtwo. 
Okay. Huh. Wonder what the point of that is. Okay. So now I guess we ha we should hit the switch so we can get up there. This way. I'm willing to bet I need to hit that switch over there, but I want to check. Hey, an iron. And what does iron do? Uh, is physical defense. Uh, Reyna. That is all you. Okay. Right, this way. Hit the switch. All right, now this is open. Should I go in front of the... I think he's probably going to have electric, so... We're just going to plan ahead for safety here. My mentor once lived here. Are you like a mad scientist living in the ruins of this destroyed mansion? Brayden? Aha! He did have electric! It's like I knew. Get him, Noka! But he's a magneton, we'll stay in. Slash. But he's a Voltor, we'll stay in. Slash. Whew, overwhelming. That's right. I almost think one of these is a good decision, like jumping down there. All right, we're we're gonna give this a save in case it's not worth in case it's not worth it. All right, it was not worth it. The more you know. This is why this is why you saved. This is why we saved. And again, we saved it, so it doesn't matter. Oh. Who are you? There shouldn't be anyone here. There's a lot of people here, man. There's lots of robbers is the first thing that's here. And then weird scientists like you. I guess she's just like holding dynamite. <laughs> just like super casually. And Noka's faster than you, so suck it. I don't know how that's possible. Electrode was incredibly fast. Maybe that's something they changed in later gens. I, I don't know. Weezing. Uh, I think we'll think she'll stay in. Got him. 33 for Ruby. Youch. Take that, nerd. Grab Carbos. Nice. And that raises the speed. Uh. Hey, Noka, you want it? There you go. That's for you. Should I go downstairs? Uh, I think there's Ditto down here. Temporarily, no. Diary, September 1st. Mewtwo is far too powerful. We have failed to curb its vicious tendencies. Oh, there's a Trubbish down here. Alright, it died. It was too weak. Didn't deserve it. <laughs> Okay, now we'll go around this way. Whoa, there's a magmar. Uh, cut. It lived. Ow. All right. Cheese mode, activate. Got him. Hey, almost got her to 46. I think we're all set with our fire Pokemon. We actually should fight this guy first. Whoa, where am I now? Or he's like, uh-oh, where am I now? 
We're in the you're in the basement where creepy things hang out. Growlithe. Fire, huh? Da -na -na -na. Nice job, Noka. 46 for Noka. Very nice. All physical, all day. A ponyta, we will switch. Uh, Reyna. All right, uh, Water Pulse. It's faster, but it missed, so it doesn't matter. Got him. Very nice. Yay, so much money. What? Go away. All right, now this will be open. Hi, this place is ideal for a lab. Look at all the space. Yeah, yeah, there was a lab here, pal. And look what happened, look what happened to it. They ticked off Mewtwo and they died for it. It's actually a, a great movie. Is Pokemon the first movie? I think that's what it's called. And it's like pretty much the story of Mewtwo. It's so good. That's a classic, man, classic. Slash. Take that, nerd. All right. What was that for? What was that for? You attacked me. All I did was win. Scrub. Go away, Magmar. All right, so that's actually open, so. Go away. I don't even need a coughing. I don't even need anything else for that matter. Hey, who contains Blizzard? That actually might be good. That's like the first TM in forever we picked up that actually might be helpful. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, ditto. We don't need one. We don't need one. Secret key. Heck yeah. Solar beam. Wow, there's lots of good stuff down here. I knew it was worth coming down here for. Actually, I think it was over here. Okay, now the door over here is open again. Just trying to run, just trying to run away, all right. So do you think I should go up the stairs or should I go farther in? All right, we're gonna go farther in really quick. Just to double check. Ah, oh, there is a Pokeball over here. Full restore, nice. Yeah, that was worth it. Oops. This way. Dang it all. Okay, we're up the stairs. Safe at last. Oh, dang it. I gotta hit this switch again. Okay. Go away, coughing. Go away, coughing. No, I don't need you either. Go away. Okay, now we can get up here. So I think that we need the secret key because I think this door is locked. I think you can't get out until you hit it. And, well, no, actually, maybe not. I actually think the key opens this. Opens the Pokemon Gym, actually. Actually. Okay. Heal me. All right. Now we're all healed up. And let's go find out if that's actually the case. Uh, Reyna, you are in front. Officially. Yep. Yo, champ in the making. Yeah, it is. It's fire. 
I was a thief, but I went straight as a trainer. Well, congratulations, man. Way to turn your life around. You look pretty suspicious, but, uh... It's totally fine. Na, 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 na. La, la. Well, Reyna's about to get a lot of experience because this gym is entirely dependent upon her. I mean, we have other options. We have fallback options that are neutral. Uh, but this is our best option as far as, uh, as super effective goes or what and whatnot. Take that. The nine tails, we will stay in. Yay, leftovers. Can you imagine anything? Stronger than giving Reyna like a really tanky Pokemon leftovers. Eat it. Thirty-four for Ruby. She is catching up quick. Trying to learn Flamethrower. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, get rid of Will-O-Wisp. We have, we need, there's better things to get. Flamethrower. I surrender. Whole bunch of money for that. Do you know how hot Pokemon fire breath can get? What? Oh, okay. <laughs> I have no idea, man. No idea. Or ma'am. No, man. It is bro. He is a dude. His name is Eric. Your sprite does not look like a dude. Huh? <laughs> Fire moves on a water type, you fool. And look, Raina's even laughing at you. <laughs> She's like, haha, you're so stupid. <laughs> hey, we'll stay in, because I'm not even sure. I don't even know what that is. I'm still not positive what it is. All right, uh, serve. Nail, oh, it has one HP, he survived. Magnitude. No, no, no. Got him. Right, he's a nine tails. We'll stay in. Ah, leftovers is so good. Got him. Yow, hot, hot, hot. Alright, bye. I've studied Pokemon thoroughly. You can't win. Yeah, I feel like there's more to Pokemon than studying, brochacho. And you should keep in mind, Avery, that you can't win. I have many options against you and your water and your I mean your fire Pokemon. That. Ooh, and a spicy crit. Well done, Reyna. Well done. A Vulpix will stay in. And we're already healing. Arena is almost 45. Very cool. Ma, ma, ma.
We'll probably, after we, like, clear the whole way to Blaine, we'll probably run back, heal, and then run for- and then we can run to Blaine completely fully charged for war, and then we'll probably fight him. Most likely. Wow, look at Arcanine. Dang! She's freaking hot! Too hot. Knock her out, Reyna. Got him. Very nice. 45 for Reyna. Very cool. She's 152 health. That's crazy. And a 35 for Ruby. We're all flying up, man. My studies were insufficient. Yeah, see? I told you. Told you. I like using Fire-type Pokemon. I just do. Hey, I, I get it, man. I also have a thing for Fire-type. That's why all my starters are always Fire-type, like nine times out of ten. I get it. Agility, making himself harder to hit. That's his best hope, to be honest. And he failed. <laughs> I didn't say it was likely. I just said it was his best hope. And it was not enough. Too hot to handle. Man, we're making so much money. These thieves give out so much money. I know why Blaine became a trainer. Oh, yeah? Was it so he could get a sweet gym? Derek? Ooh, a Rapidash. There she is! We very much considered getting a Rapidash, but ultimately we sided with Ninetales. I mean, eventually, when our, Vul when our Vulpix evolves, obviously, we'll have a Ninetales. But Rapidash was a close second. Goodbye, Derek. Ow. <laughs> like, that's all he says. He's just, ow. I've been, too, I've been to many gyms, but this one best suits my style. Is that the style of flame? Fire style? All right, Vulpix, we have one of those. She's adorable. Open up with the fire move. That'll teach my water Pokemon. Eat this, nerd. Got him. Very nice. Uh, Growlithe will stay in, obviously. Reyna's getting mad experience for all this. There's some more HP. Get, getting us back to full health. All right. Goodbye, Dusty. Yowza, too hot. Even more money. All right. We're almost to Blaine. Fire is weak against H2O, as you're about to find out. As you were about to learn firsthand. Zack. Zack attack. We're about to prove his theory correct. That is for sure. La 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 la. All right, and a Vulpix. How original. Heyo. I like how my health didn't actually go up. Oh, no, it did. The number didn't go up, but my actual health is, is where it should be. Got him. Oh, snuffed out. There you go. Well, the good news is you were right about your whole weak to water theory. Okay, Blaine is now open for business. So let's go run. Let's top off mostly uh, to just restore Reyna's move so we have to make sure we have enough. And then we will make our move against Blaine. But I feel like we're in good hands because obviously Reyna is a beast. 
uh, which is very cool, but I also feel like a very large reason why we'll totally be okay is because we have good backup options. Um, uh, now, our backup options are neutral, um, like Noka and that type of thing, but uh, our backup options are neutral, but I, but they still hit really hard, and I feel like most likely Reyna will be able to handle all of it or most of it herself, so I feel like we will be fine. But of course we will see. I have had issues with Blaine in the past, I feel like, because uh, he's very powerful. His Pokemon are very, very powerful. But feeling pretty confident. All right, Blaine, let's do it. Ha, I am Blaine, the red hot leader of Cinnabar Gym. My fiery Pokemon are all rough and ready with intense heat. They incinerate all challengers. Ha, you better have burn heal. Pfft. Well, you better have freaking defeat heal because you're gonna need it when you're done with me, pal. Magmar and 42 okay so level wise we're very close which is an issue oh why do you have bite that's unfortunate haha but I hit harder than you do <laughs> and also and I will slowly heal over this engagement all right good start Arcanine will stay in I feel like we'll just go for Surf, because Surf is, I think Surf is slightly more powerful than Water Pulse, I think. I think it's like 70 to 60, I think. Alright, let's actually do a quick look. Uh, let's see, so Surf is 90 and Water Pulse is 60. Yeah, so Surf is actually much more powerful, okay. So there you go, now you know. Oh, you also have Bite! What horrid luck. Save me, Leftovers. Save me. Ow. Why do you all have bite? Don't, wow, what poor luck. Got him. You did great, Reyna. 36 for Ruby. Trying to learn Safeguard. We'll take a look, but probably not. It's a normal move. Protects the user's party from all status problems for five turns. I mean, it's a good move, but I feel like just sitting there protecting from status from status problems is unlikely. I feel like most of the time I'm gonna want to do damage, so I think I'm all set. Yeah, I'm all set. Thank you. I'm about to use a Charizard. I like how it said Charizard Y. All right, there is the big baddie herself, Charizard. Ooh, and she can Mega Evolve, by the way. Hashtag fear. Okay. We're gonna risk a heal here. Let's see, do you have like a, here we go, hyper potion. Okay. There I was, I was about to say, odds are he's gonna hit, start hitting flame moves. Well that hurt a lot considering, I mean, oh, so one of the, is he, he also has sunlight going, okay. I guess that's fair then. Luckily our, our, uh, will slightly help, help counteract it a little bit, a little bit with our leftovers, but we need to deal some damage. Well, that doesn't do very much, does it? Hit it, Reyna. Oh, Rain is in trouble. Oh, how's that for a crit, punk? Way to go with the clutch with the clutch crit, Raina. Well done. All right, a Rapidash. Uh, I am wondering if we should just go hit and use Noka because Raina is tired. So maybe we'll we'll go for Noka. All right. Eat this. Oh my god. Wow, Noka was not impressed. She just walked up and just like slapped her and left. She was not having it. Well, that was not what I expected out of that fight. 
Eat that, Blaine. I have burned down to nothing. Not even ashes remain. You have earned the volcano badge. Heck yeah! Ha! The volcano badge heightens the special stats of your Pokemon. Here, you can have this too. I'm assuming that's something really good. Fire Blast is the ultimate fire technique. Don't waste it on water, Pokemon. I mean, don't waste it. Like, it's, it doesn't... They can't even learn it. Unless, of course, you're meaning don't use it on them because it's not going to do much. Which, you're probably right. Well, there you go. That's another badge for us. Whoa! Hey, if it isn't Gloric. Look, it's me, Bill. Long time no see. I hope you're still using my PC system. Well, listen, since we met up here, how about spending some time with me? There is this little island to in the far south called One Island. A friend invited me, so I'm on my way out there. How about it? You feel like coming with me? Sure, man. All right, then. Let's go. I was actually going to heal first, but I guess that's fine. Looks like my pal's boat arrived, too. He sent it, sent it specially here to Cinnabar to pick me up. Well, that was convenient. That was nice of him, wasn't it? All right. Da, da, da. Here we are. This is one island. There are several islands around here, and this is one of them. My friend Celio sent the boat to fetch me here. And he's in charge of the island's PC network by his lonesome. Why am, why am I telling you this now? Let's just go see Celio. Da, 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 da. Hey there, Celio. Bill, I can't believe you came out here. Well, absolutely. How's your research coming along? Oh, wait a sec. Glorick, this is my buddy Celio. He's one dedicated PC maniac. Celio, this is Glorick, a rising contender as the something I accidentally hit forward. Sorry. That's really impressive. I hate to say it, but I have zero aptitude for battling. Anyways, I'm glad to meet you. So, bring me up to speed. How's your machine running? It's running fine, but we're too remote out here. The PCs on this island just can't link with your PC, Bill. Oh, yeah? Okay, well, let me take a look-see. Hang on there. I think we can make it work. Let me help you, okay? Gloric, can I get you to wait for me just a bit? Actually, can I get you to do me a favor? The island next to this one's called Two Island. There's a guy out there that runs a game corner. He has this thing for rare rocks and gems. We keep in touch uh, being fellow maniacs. So, can I get you to deliver this meteorite to him? Absolutely, Bill. Glork, if you are going uh, to Two Island, please take this. It's a pass for the ferry service serving for the local islands. It will let you travel between islands two, one, two, and three. Oh, you should have this too. I'll catch you later. Say hi to the, to the guy for me. All right, sounds good, Bill. Okay, Bill, that sounds really good. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, hey, we did it. Blaine is defeated. We got badge number seven. All right. I think this will be a great place to save it. We have 67 in the Pokedex now. Reyna was absolutely a beast to that battle. And then Noka walks up and just finishes it with one hit. Did not expect that. Very cool. Ruby is level 36. I don't know when she falls into Ninetales, but I can't imagine it's too far away. And I also don't, I'm pretty sure, I'm, I am I think Reyna has a third evolution. I think, I think there's Slow King. And uh, I don't know if you have to do anything for that, but we'll see if it's a level thing. We'll keep on trucking and we'll see what we get. And, uh, but otherwise, it's going really well, man. The team are absolute monsters. It's going really well. Ah, look at them all. It's so good. Anyway, very, very cool. So, uh, great progress when we come back. We will be, let me think, when we come back, we will be uh, poking around the islands for just a little bit. We'll be doing this thing for Bill, and uh, we'll see what happens with that. Obviously, on our radar at some point is going to be hitting a Viridian Gym, the final gym, and uh, hitting that at some point is going to be on the list. Uh, but there'll be some leveling up and stuff to do first, so we're not going to rock it straight there or anything. Uh, we'll be poking around the islands for a bit, so that'll be what the plan is when we return. And I think that's everything. So I will be recording Saints Row 2 right after this. So if you are interested, you are more than welcome to go check that out. And uh, I think that that'll be everything until Monday other than that. Anyway, that is going to call for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the content today. And we will talk to you guys later.